Hey guys, in this video I wanted to show you um, an application called Spotify. It's quite popular, uh, a few of you probably already know what it is, what it does. Um, but if for those of you who don't know, um, Spotify is a music client. Um, what it does is it streams music over your internet connection. And uh, it has an extensive library of all different genres of music. As you can see, here's my playlist: miscellaneous, pop, dubstep, electro, um, hip hop, stuff like that. Uh, Spotify has millions and millions of songs, um, and there's a desktop client as well as a mobile client. Um, you can sign up uh, for free and download the application on your PC, and that allows you to basically search Spotify's. Uh, database or their index of songs and you can just stream them for free uh, anytime you want. There's a cap on the free version uh, on the desktop and um, the application for Android is actually free to download but you have to be a premium member to use it so you can download the application but to actually log in and use the service you have to be a premium member which is I think around uh, £9 or £10 a month I'm not sure how many dollars that is, something like $15 a month. Um, but it is quite worth it. Uh, like I said, there's millions of tracks you can just listen to by streaming. So um, you can be anywhere in the world and you can have all your music with you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you some of the uh, features. At the bottom here you see uh, some tabs. First one on the left, playlists. Uh, the next one along, search. This one in the middle is actually... Uh, I don't think it'll come up. Oh, it will. Uh, this is actually the now playing tab. Uh, the next one's what's new, and the far right is more. So first off, I'm going to show you the playlist. Um, here, you can see the uh, the playlist view. Um, here's the, the inbox, which is. Uh, well, it's it's your inbox for your messages. People can actually send you songs uh, from the desktop client, um, so you can add your friends. There's Facebook integration on the desktop client, so your friends can send you music, and you can go into your mobile, and you can see all your new uh, music that people have sent you. Um, next along is the library, which is your well, it's all the tracks put together. Uh, this is. The next one's starred, which is kind of like favourites. You can favourite these songs, and you can also add them to playlists, which are what these are down here. Next up along is search. Um, you can search by tracks, albums, or artists. Um, and you can actually use the voice recording to search, do a search query. Um, next along is what's new. I'm going to skip the uh, now playing because I'll have to show you that after when I've started playing a song. I'll just give it a minute to load. Right. Um, here. Don't know why it's gone out of focus. There we go. Um, as you can see in the What's New tab, uh, it's basically what's new in Spotify, what people are uh, downloading, stuff like that. Uh, there's also Top Tracks tab at the top. As you can see, I've starred this song, What's My Name, uh, Rihanna. Um, so that's added it to my playlist and my library. Uh, you can also check the Spotify feed, which is uh, basically a feed of um, what Spotify are uh, putting out there. Um, the next tab along is More, which is your settings about um, the logout. So you can check the version number. Uh, and etc. stuff like that. Uh, settings. You have a couple of options. You can force offline uh, so that it doesn't stream anything. You can just play your local music. You can sync over Wi-Fi, which allows you to actually play music without being connected to a network. You can sync over 3G. Um, you can also set the quality of the stream um, on which connection. So. You can stream music at 96 kilobits per second or at 160, which is high quality. Um, but I've chose the low bandwidth as I'm streaming over uh, 3G. You can also choose um, what quality to sync in. Uh, you can sync your playlists. Uh, like I said, you can sync them, which 
allows you to play it without an internet connection. There's also Last FM scrobbling available. Um, and you can fiddle with some of the system settings here. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and play you a song. I'm just going to play Toxic. Uh, I'll play Klein Trom. Uh, just so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Turn it down a bit. Uh, yeah, as you can see, the album art here. Um, we have. You can favorite it from the bottom left. You can also press the eye. It brings up the artist. So if you click that, you can search. You can have a look at uh, the biography, overview, and top hits from that artist. Uh, here's his albums and his singles. And same there. You can. Uh, also press that and it'll show you uh, well different remixes or things from the same album and you can add it to the playlist or just click done you can also add this song to your playlist uh, you can repeat or you can shuffle um, here it shows the time, time remaining uh, time of the song you can just flick that down you can press it or you can drag it down and uh, yeah that's about it really I think for Spotify um, there's not really much else to it uh, it's a great service I recommend it to uh, pretty much anyone who likes music um, and yeah if, even if you don't get the mobile app download the uh, PC client because it's pretty cool there is a limitation with the free one though uh, you only I think you get 20 hours of listening time a month but that should be plenty enough really just to stream music so yeah uh, this has been Spotify for Android um, I'll just check what version number this is so you guys know it's version 0.4.08 you can see yeah so um, that's it uh, if you got any comments or questions whatever leave them in the comment section um, subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys in the next video